Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll quickly discuss Caesar Cipher algorithm and implement it in Python. Caesar Cipher is one of the simplest and most widely known encryption techniques. It's a type of substitution cipher in which each letter in the plain text is replaced by a letter with a fixed number of positions down the alphabet. To get a better understanding of how it works, let's take an example. So let's consider this plain text right here, Basil Tech. And here we have the position of each letter in the alphabet. Um, we're counting a zero based counting, which means that A is uh, number zero and B is number one and so on. So let's assume that we are shifting with three positions. So our shift number is three. This means that this B character right here, which is at position one, is going to be shifted three positions down the alphabet and will become four which will be corresponding to E. And the A letter is going to be the fourth letter in the alphabet, which means it's going to be at position three, so it's going to be D, and so on and so forth. Okay, so simply the encryption formula that we're having here is that if we want to encrypt letter X, then we're going to add to it the N which is the shift number, and then take the modulo 26, because our alphabet size is 26, which means that if we exceeded the um, 26 count of the alphabet, it's going to wrap around again. Okay, our decryption formula is going to be, if we want to decrypt X, then this means that we're going to subtract M from X and take the modulo of the result, which would give us the original letter back. Okay, so some notes about the algorithm. It actually ignores the characters, which are non-alphabetic characters. So it means that we're only encrypting letters. Special characters, spaces, um, numbers are just ignored in this algorithm. The algorithm may preserve or ignore the plain text casing just according to the implementation. Okay, let's now implement the Caesar cipher algorithm in Python. We will start by implementing the encrypt decrypt method, which would take a plain text character, a shift number, and the mode, whether encrypt or decrypt, as arguments, and returns the cipher character. So we're going to type in here def underscore encrypt underscore decrypt and then we're going to give it the plain text underscore char the shift which is going to be the shift number and the mode and it's going to be by default encrypt okay so we need first to check that we're dealing with alpha betic letters. So what we're going to do is type in here if plain text underscore char dot is alpha, then we are good to go. So we need now to get the first alphabet letter because we are going to subtract the ASCII code um, of our plain text character from this first alphabet character in order to get the position of the plain text character in the alphabet, right? So we're going to assume that it's a small letter or small case um, letter. So first underscore alphabet underscore letter is going to be equal to a small a. And then we're going to check the plain text character if it's an uppercase letter. Then we're going to replace this first alphabet letter with a capital A. So if plain text char dot is upper, then what we're going to want to do is just replace this first alphabet letter with a capital A. And then we're good to go. By this, we are making sure that we are 
preserving the casing of the plain text. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is actually determine the current, or I'm gonna just name it the old plain text character uh, position. So old underscore uh, char underscore position is gonna be equal to ORD, which is a method that returns um, the uh, the ASCII code, actually, of the character. So plain text char. Then we're gonna subtract the ORD of the first alphabet letter, and by this we get the position of the current plain text character in the alphabet. What we're gonna do now is check for the mode. So if mode is equal equal to encrypt then this means that we're going to apply the encryption formula. So new underscore char underscore position is going to be equal to the old char position plus the shift and we're going to take the modulo of 26, right? Else, if the mode is decrypt, the new char position is going to be equal to old char position minus the shift and then we're going to take the mod of 26 right okay so what we're gonna do now is actually um, just get the character of this um, character position in the alphabet so what we're gonna do is just return the chr chr method takes the ascii code of the character and returns it as a character right so what we're gonna do here is add the new char position to the ORD of the first alphabet letter and that's it okay so uh, <clears throat> if the plain text character is not an alphabetic letter then what we're gonna do is just return it as is so return plain text character okay so we're done with the encrypt decrypt character method I'm just gonna name this encrypt underscore Decrypt underscore char. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is actually implement the encrypt method, which is gonna take the plain text and the shift and returns the cipher text. So def encrypt, it's gonna take the plain text and the shift, and then it's going to uh, loop over all the plain text characters and call the underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore char method with the mode set to encrypt. So what I'm gonna do here is define um, a variable that's called cipher text. So it's gonna be an empty string for now. And we're gonna loop over the characters of the plain text. So for plain text underscore char in plain text cipher text plus equal we're going to append to the cipher text our new cipher character which is going to be underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore char of the plain text underscore char and the shift variable and the mode by default is encrypt so we don't have to um, type it explicitly right here and finally we need to return the cipher text okay so let's now um, define our decrypt method, which is going to take the ciphertext, the chef number as arguments, and returns the plain text. So def decrypt, which is going to take the ciphertext and the shift. And as we did in the encrypt method, we're going to create a variable that's called plain text, which is going to be equal to an empty string for ciphertext char in plain text okay oops this is the cipher text what we're gonna do is actually append to the plain text the underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore char method call with the cipher text char shift and the mode set to decrypt right okay and finally we're going to return the plain text and that's it. Now let's use the methods we created above to take an input from the user, encrypt it, then decrypt it. So we're going to type in here 
plain text is going to be equal to an input enter a message and then we're going to receive the shift input from the user so shift is going to be int of input shift number okay and uh, what we're gonna do now is actually create the cipher text and then decrypt it so cipher text is gonna be equal to encrypt the plain text and the shift right so right now we have the cipher text let's go back or decrypt it so decrypted underscore plain text is going to be equal to decrypt of the cipher text and the shift and let's print out the cipher text along with the decrypted plain text so print I'm going to use string formatting so if um, cipher text which is going to be the cipher text um, variable and here we're going to print the um, decrypted plain text which is going to be in the decrypted plain text variable okay so uh, that's it let's now test it out so I'm going to type here in my terminal python caesar cipher tutorial.py and hit enter let's now enter the message maybe basil tick one two three hit enter the shift number is three enter and bam here we go so this is the cipher text right in here and this is the decrypted plain text okay so uh that's the guess for this tutorial and see you in the next one